The Fergal gaming chair. Is it really worth it? Well, over the last six months, I have used this chair and I've worn it out and like not worn it out, but I've actually like fully used it. Like I've used it to the max potential and you know, I tried out everything. Um, the seat is very good. It's made out of like a very good leather and uh, really good cushioning at the back. There's two cushions, one at the back, one at the top. And there's a lot of different stuff about this thing. Um, there's a lot of ups and there's, there's a little bit of downs. There's not too many downs. This is a very good chair. So you can get it at the price of $190 AUD or around $250, but it just depends where you get it from. Um, and this chair is really, really good. I really like the design. It looks like a spaceship. Um, you can get it in different colors, but like I got it in the black and white version because, you know, why not? Because it suits the rest of my um, setup, I guess. But yeah, this whole chair is like amazing. Like the back support is really good. The seat's really good. The cushioning, the leather, and the, it never stains. Like I haven't made it stain at all. Like it just doesn't stain. It's so hard to stain this thing. So yeah, I like really, really love this thing. And it's so good. And um. Yeah, it's just very, very good. And some of you all were wondering, like, how it's been after six months using it. You know, is it good? Is it worth it? Should I buy it? And yes, 100% you should buy this thing. It's amazing. And the cushioning, everything is so good. You can literally go all the way back, like, pull your seat all the way back to make it a full on, like, you can make it a bed. You can literally sleep in this thing. And yeah, everything's so good about it. I love the design. I love all the features and it does actually feel good. Like some gaming chairs just look good, but then they don't feel good. But this chair feels good. Now, here comes the downside. The only downside I have is the side armrests. Those things are so annoying. Like they just, like when you're trying to just chill and watch YouTube, they just get in the way and they're very hard and you can't move your leg around them. And I wish you could like, you know, move them away or like detach them or something really easy, but sadly you cannot. So that's like the only downside I see, but the rest of the whole chair is just amazing. Like this whole thing is just like, I love it, all right? But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say because you guys wanted to know if it was like worth it in 2021. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe to the notification bell. And yes, this chair is very good. Link in the description if you want to go get it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in another video.